month. Let's bring in Rich Repetto, Managing Director at Piper Sandler, and Sean Horgan, FinTech and Payments Analyst at Rosenblatt Securities to discuss further. Gentlemen, good morning to you both. Rich, I'll start with you. Um, for better or worse, since going public, Coinbase has become, in the equity market, perhaps the biggest proxy for what we're seeing play out on a daily basis in cryptocurrencies. Should it be in terms of the daily moves we see, or is that really overlooking or oversimplifying the actual business model and how the company can make money despite the volatility in cryptocurrencies? No, I actually think it, it probably it is a proxy for the crypto economy and, and uh, the acceptance of, uh, of cryptocurrency. So it's not, I don't see that as an issue. Uh, I think the main thing is that, you know, you got to expect volatility uh, in these cryptocurrencies. What happened over the past few days, while painful, uh, it's not unusual for, you know, how crypto has been priced over the last 10 years. You've seen every year at least a 28% drop, and you've seen three solid cycles of resetting prices. So uh, Bitcoin, excuse me, Coinbase is tied to the, uh, and, and totally focused on the crypto economy. So uh, we'd expect that, the stock to reflect uh, some of that volatility as well. Sean, I'll put the same question to you, especially since I know you're bullish on the stock, Coinbase. Yeah, I think, uh, I think look, like what, what Rich said, uh, I totally agree. Um, there is some volatility to be expected with a, a stock like Coinbase. Um, but I mean, there, there are some positives too. Uh, I think that one, this is accelerating the cycle. And um, now, you know, 12 months from now, investors are forward-looking, and the outlook will, will likely be uh, a lot more bullish um, overall. And the second thing is uh, volatility is not all bad for an exchange, right? When there's, mm. when there's more volatility, there's more engagement. There's more MTUs, uh, monthly transacting users. Uh, there's more trading volumes, and, and that means more revenue. So, um, you know, I actually don't think it's all negative in the short term, and it's certainly not in the long term. But, Rich, to come back to you, I mean, on the subject of more regulation in the SEC, I mean, you're somewhat expert in exchanges, certainly, and even in that part of things. What are your expectations when it comes to what we can really expect to see from Gensler uh, and the staff? Well, I think it's very well reported that, you know, that uh, Chairman Gensler is very knowledgeable of, of uh, cryptocurrency. So at least as a minimum, you expect informed regulation. And I think... Uh, you know, I think the U.S. is in a unique position because you, you see other countries in Canada uh, trading a, a, a crypto ETF. So I, I don't see us, I don't think uh, we want to fall behind, but I, um, you know, uh, Chairman Gensler is as knowledgeable as anybody. And he knows the, the concerns uh, as far as liquidity, as far as the fraud, et cetera, the, tech, the under, underpinning technology. So I think we're going to have good informed uh, you know, regulation, and hopefully it'll be, you know, uh, at least a bit friendly towards crypto, uh, given that he's, he's so uh, well knowledgeable of it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.